In what is typical in this whole process, I realized afterwards I had the board turned around the wrong way. And what it is that I'm going to do is to heat up these two connectors, connections, as well as the other similar connections on the three um, power regulars. It's funny. My mind, and it goes a blank. But anyway, what we have here is actually the place that the capacitor, and if I lift this up ever so gently, I should be able to see. Maybe not. Anyway, that's where the capacitor is. So, what I'm going to do, now I have lots of power, or lots of outlets, is I'm going to take my regular new solder iron in its fancy dancy uh, holder, and I'm going to plug it in. Now, I don't see that it has any switch on it. So, I'm just assuming it's going to get hot. That is my assumption. And then, it is time. Now, I also am going to get out solder. Because you never know, it may not be a bad thing to take this kind of slinky solder thing and add a little solder to those connections. So I do not know how long the solder iron takes to heat up, so I will just give it a moment here. And let's start the main camera here. So here's where we're at. My soldering iron is warming. Um, there are six connections here I'm interested in. I'm not starting up the solder sucker as of yet. Um, mostly in a way, because I really don't have a place to put it. Or do I? Here is, oh, well, I haven't even undone the wire. But I'm letting the soldering iron get hot. So I can go at these connections, and I, you know, I know these connections get hot. They're supposed to get hot, but overly hot, that is the question. So I do not want to hurt the pool table. I do not want to hurt any cords, cables, anything. So I'm not going to plug this in yet. I have no idea, and certainly I'm not going to touch this. To see how hot it is. So, I guess the way to check is to stick it on a connection and see if things happen. And I can smell heat. Oh, yeah. Solder is flowing. Just a moment. I'm going to put some glasses on. Oh, there goes the solder. So, I'm going to put some more heat on this connection. Sure enough, the solder is flowing. Probably for the first time in almost 40 years. And that too is flowing. Now I'm going to go over to the other Similar connections. Oh yeah, things are flowing. Things are flowing. Good stuff. Of course, as I remember, my electricity teacher said, soldering will not help a bad connection. But I feel better about it. So, I'm just down 
Got a couple of the other connections here. And yeah, this is working well. So what I think I might do, excuse me, is take this slinky of solder, stretch it out a bit, and give these connections the opportunity to get some fresh solder in there. That is the plan. Not a whole bunch. But a little bit. Just to freshen them up a bit. Oh yeah, and I can tell now that the iron is nice and hot. The solder melts gloriously. Gee, these ones, I don't want to overdo it here. These are the ones in question. Okay, so in here, I believe these two connections right there are the ones that we're going to suck dry. Right now, I'll just heat them up. I'm not going to test again and go through the whole rigmarole of seeing that everything dies as it did. So, I believe we have, if there is a cold solder joint on those connections, we have secured it. I'm just looking around the board to see if there's anything else, and I don't see anything else at this moment that could be helped. So I'm going to unplug this iron, I think. Okay, so that should cool off, and now, whew, and now perhaps we'll take a break.